Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Oh, no. Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair. Lewis of War. Uh, Ni hao, Mr. Chair, uh, on Chinese Language Week. Um, I uh, want to stand to support supplementary order paper 218 in the name of my colleague Chris Hipkins. Um, and it is about the composition of the Education Council. Uh, so, to look at where we want to move to, I think it's really important that we look at uh, the current composition of that council. Uh, currently, there are nine members, all elected or appointed by the Minister, and five of whom have to hold current practising certificates. And I just looked at uh, the definition of that in the Act, um, and it says they have to be employed uh, 0.5 full-time teacher equivalent. They have to have been in a continuous position for more than six weeks, and they must be employed as a teacher. But there's actually no explicit commitment uh, to the five of those teachers representing specific sectors of our education system. And so if we look at the education, uh, I guess, purpose, Education Council purpose, uh, so it says that it's the professional bodies, body for teachers, and it's about improving the quality of teaching and education leadership, leadership focusing on the needs of children and young people in the public interest. And as this bill has outlined, uh, those constituent uh, teaching groups are actually comprised of the early childhood education profession, the primary profession, the secondary uh, school profession. Uh, and I would like the minister, I guess, to reassure us uh, that the current uh, rules around who can be appointed by her to educans actually ensures uh, that we have uh, representatives of all those sectors. And um, I particularly want to support uh, the proposition in um, Chris Hipkins' supplementary order paper because it's about people being elected to office. Uh, we are now in the middle of local board elections, and when you go on the website, uh, they encourage people um, to stand because we need committed people with a wide range of skills who want to contribute to their community. And so I think at the heart of this uh, supplementary order paper and the pro proposition is that the meaningful uh, constituencies within the teaching profession, should they be specifically represented? And that's in fact what the supplementary order paper would enable. It would enable, for example, a teacher representing the early childhood sector to be elected by their peers. It would enable a teacher representing the primary sector to be elected by their peers. It would enable a teacher representing the secondary sector to be represented by their peers. And we have the national constituent organisations that would enable that process. We have the PPTA, the Post-Primary uh, Teachers Association. We have NZDI, which is uh, made up of principals, teachers, support staff. And we have the New Zealand Principals Federation, because another constituent group is a principal representing a pri the primary sector and also a principal represent re representing the secondary sector. So I see no reason uh, why uh, this particular supplementary order, order paper shouldn't at least merit some consideration. Uh, and uh, a comment or cordial from uh, the minister about why um, she disagrees with this proposition. Because essentially, if the uh, Education Council is about a professional body for teachers, then I would have thought at the heart of it uh, should be representatives uh, of all the specific teaching professions um, as I've outlined. Um, within uh, the supplementary uh, order paper, there's also a comparison between the education sector and the health sector. So there has been a minister previously under this government who recognised that having representatives uh, from the health sector on the governance board actually made sense. And so I think the, the minister should look at that uh, and make some comment. Uh, but I think from our perspective, uh, elected representatives bring something uh, to a democracy. We're all here, we're all elected representatives. So we, um, uh, on this side, I think, stand for local democracy. Uh, we stand for specific representation. And we want to enable uh, PPTA, NZDI, the New Zealand Principals Federation uh, to actually have a say uh, in um, the quality of teaching and education leadership specifically in our country. 
And so I would uh, implore uh, the, the members of this House to you know, consider this SOP. It's a very good SOP. Uh, so I commend uh, my colleague Chris Hipkins for bringing it to the House, uh, and I commend it to my fellow members. Kia ora.